Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenro. We are back in the land of the Pope Man. Pope Awesome the 18th has just won a war, World War Three, and uh, the prize is, of course, Northwest England. Got five new five new provinces. Uh, well, five new counties. Uh, pretty good population here. I like that. Yeah. And the industry here is just amazing. Northwest England has huge industry. So glad we took that. Uh, Scandinavia is currently at war with Russia. I wonder how well they're going to do. Uh, they're winning the war, but now that Britain and France are out of the war with us, uh, they're going to focus entirely on Scandinavia, and I don't know if they're actually going to win. Uh, Russia has decided to add a war goal for Nord Norge, and the United Kingdom wants to go. So good for them. Uh, to goes down here. Uh, it looks like the UK doesn't have any troops down here, though, because... Scandinavia is doing all the invading. Scandinavia has invaded all of this shit, and Britain's not doing anything about it. So, well, I guess they could. Yeah, they are. They are. They, they're bringing troops up there. All right, but yeah, I hope Scandinavia does well in their war. I wish them the best. Uh, are we trapped here? Oh, shit, we're trapped. All right, we'll go pick these troops up, I guess. Darn it. We got trapped. We done did get trapped. Let's bring our navy down there and pick them up. Can we do that? There we are. Hello. Pick up my units. Hmm. I think we need to build a little more of a navy. I wonder what we want, though. Probably just more dreads. Yeah, just get me 11 more dreads. What could possibly go wrong? Besides, we're expanding our ports everywhere, uh, so that's all good. Hmm. Ottomans are number 16 in the world. Switzerland is number 8 in the world. Oh god, Switzerland's going to be a great power. Spain's number 10. Poland's number... Oh, Poland's going to be a great power. Nice. And Romania. Yeah, Romania got some land, too. Isn't that great? Romania and Spain both got land. Spain got two states from France. And Romania got one state from Serbia. So there you go. I didn't give any land to Germany, because Germany is strong enough already. We really didn't need Germany to have any more land. And, uh... That's probably the best thing, that they didn't get anything out of that war. <laughs> it's nice that they helped us in the war, but we don't need them getting any stronger. They are OP as hell. All right, let's um, get relations up with Scandinavia. And I hope they do well in their war, but uh, I, I don't really have high hopes for them. Scandinavia has fallen. Poland is a great power. Oh my god, Poland declared war on Russia. Now that Poland is a great power, they can do these yellow crisscross to get land from Russia. And if they do that, they could form Poland-Lithuania. Wouldn't that be fun? Go, Poland. Attack them. Attack Russia. Do it. Romania broke their alliance with us. Whatever. I don't care. You're in Germany's sphere. Poland, you want an alliance back? Of course you do. All right. Hmm. Oh, my God. Poland is a great power. I'm not sure anyone saw that coming, but there you go. Cypriot nationalists. Oh, come on. Get rid of your rebels, Cypriot nationalists. What a joke. That's embarrassing. Go Poland! Woohoo! And Serbia is back to their original territory, unfortunately. Oh, well. Not everything works out for Serbia. All right, where's my navy? There it is. Communists, hello. All right, so there's a big rebellion. Uh, but we do have some rebel hunters turned on, so they should be able to handle this, I think. You guys are rebel hunting, good, good. Where's my other rebel hunters? There you are. All right, yeah, yeah, it should be fine. Uh, and we have rebel hunters here. Yeah, I think we're okay, really. Yeah. As long as all these armies have rebel hunt turned on, we should be all right. Rebel hunt, rebel hunt. Rebel hunt, yeah, we should be fine. What about in Asia? Do we have any rebels over here? We do. All right. Well, just rebel hunt, and you, you'll be fine. Up here? Nope. No rebels up here. All right. Good. It's actually kind of nice there's no rebels up here. Uh, expand the forts, please. Expand the naval base. Expand the naval base. Naval base. Naval base. Everybody's fine. What about over here? It's all going. As long as it's already expanding, I'm happy, man. There we go. Down here? Yeah, looks good. Excellent. Uh, over here. Mm, no rebels. That's good. Well, it's good enough. Um, yep, yeah, naval bases look good. Just want to make sure we uh, can support as large of a navy as possible. And it looks like we're going to be fine. Excellent. 
Kill the rebels. These are communists, right? Yep, communists. Don't need them. We don't need no stinking commies. We really don't. We'll be, we'll be fine as a democracy. It's okay. And yes, the uh, the capitalists actually got a project through. They expanded a factory. Good for you, capitalists. Good for you. Uh, they did one factory. I mean, that's commitment there. One whole factory. Germany all allied with Romania. Okay. Oh yeah, all the influence. Right, influence, influence. Uh, Switzerland, Ottomans. Oh god, Poland's going for the Ottomans. Damn it, Poland! Don't you do it, you son of a bitch. Yeah, he's gunning for it. He's really investing as much as he can. God damn it, Poland. I wish you wouldn't do that, Poland. Because I'm going to have to smack him around now. Oh, we got another core. Digni. All right. Go Digni. Digni. All right. On the boat. And to Rome. To Rome. Hmm. All right. Hold on. I got to see what the hell this is. What is this? Uh, Puccini turns American plays into Italian operas. Giacomo P Puccini, wh who was successful in transforming the play Madame Butterfly by the American playwright David Belasco into an opera in 1904, premiered another work on Belasco's The Girl of the Golden West. Cool. We get uh, some prestige. Nice. It's always good. Poland, please declare on Russia. Do it. Russia wants access, of course. Poland, declare. Go for it. Come on, you can beat him. Oh, maybe he won't do it because I can't help him right now. I guess that is sort of a problem, huh? Uh, Miwar fears our might. Some random nation in India fears us. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. And yeah, we're, we're putting down the rebels pretty quickly. There's still about, I don't know, 30 stacks of them, but they won't last that long. Can we boost some more military? Uh, one unit. Oh, we can actually do quite a few engineers and stuff. Um, yeah, some engineers are good. Uh, give me a little bit of Husser, just for shits and giggles. We don't have that many Cav left, so might as well. Yeah, Germany is taking most of these nations in his sphere. That's fine. Who's going for Austria-Hungary? Germany is. Okay, well, go for it. I don't mind. Hmm... Scandinavia is really losing a lot of his army here. I don't know if they're going to last. And uh, the Ottomans... Oh, they're killing the Cypriot nationalists. Great. Good job, Ottomans. He only sent two units over, or two regiments. But it should be enough. All right, come on. Poland, declare on Russia. Do it. I know Russia's allies look scary, but they're a pussycat. They really are. Germany entered alliance with Serbia. Okay. Fine by me. First tractor in Salima. Okay. Ooh. Italian schools. Assimilation efforts in Sudanese area. Ooh, Sudan. Ooh. Discriminatory school system. Lose research points for two years, but we do get 444 research points. I don't even know if that's a thing. Um... I'm going to say never mind. Flashpoint crisis. Tensions in Cochin, China. Yes. Go for a crisis. And we can now turn Niger into a state. Excellent. It means we can get rid of that focus point. And I think we'll go back for some more craftsmen. Uh, maybe up here. Oh, no. They're already at 50% craftsmen. Never mind. 50% is apparently the maximum. Okay. Go back to Campania. There you go. More craftsmen, more money. Yeah. Time-saving measures. Factory output tech. Nice. Actually, I'm going to raise the military budget, because why not? Uh, more tech. Could do the army tech. Navy tech would be nice. I mean, all the tech would be nice. Shift work. Hmm. Mass politics. Focus points. Would be nice. Ooh. Regimental experience. Social alienation. Hmm, don't really need the prestige gain. We still don't have tanks. Fuck's sake. We need tanks. We need tanks. <sighs> we 
Why no tanks? Why no tanks? More money. Sydney Webb, permanent prestige. Thank you, Sydney. You're the best. Yeah, we really are taking care of these rebels quickly. But, yeah, for some reason, Poland seems to be a little, I don't know, timid? They're not really taking the war to anyone. They're just sitting on their heels. That doesn't work. I mean, they have infamy room, so they should be taking land from Russia now that they're a great power. Wow. They're 200 points ahead of France. That's amazing. Flashpoint tension. What's going on with that? Greece is still bad. Is it Provence, maybe? Cochin China is not bad at all. Uh, yeah, I think if anything, it's going to be either the Ottoman stuff for Greece... Or this stuff for France. And we're never going to give any of that away. No way. Spain's hovering around number 10 in the world. But I think France will overcome Spain eventually. How's Scandinavia's war going? Uh, it's not really going. If they lose any more units, there's no way they're going to win. They really needed to keep their units alive. But nah, it's not happening. Come on, Poland. Declare war. Go for it. Ah, stupid rebels. Should be okay, though. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Ooh, what's this? Bhutani's insults. Oh, come on. Bhutan. Really? Bhutan? Out of all the people to insult us, it has to be Bhutan. Oh god, I want tanks so bad. We must discover infiltration to build armor. I know, but we can't discover infiltration until we have tank experiments. Oh, we need it. Fucking USA has tank experiments. There we go. Poland declared war on Russia. Yeah! Go Poland! It's for... Liberate Kiev. Wait, liberate? Liberate Kiev. Does that mean Ukraine gets it? I think that means Ukraine gets it. Or maybe it means Poland-Lithuania gets it. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Assuming Poland can win, they should win. Burma declared war on Siam. Okay. Why do I have troops over here? I don't know, but take them home. I just have random troops sitting over here. Oh my god, the Kingdom of Guyana has collapsed for like the fourth time. They just can't stop collapsing. Can't stop collapsing. The Russian flag looks weird. Sure about that? I mean, it looks like a Russian flag to me. Hmm. so badly. And yeah, Poland is not facing any resistance over here, as expected. No, they are. They are fighting some Russian troops, but it's probably uh, peasants. Let me check. Yep, just peasants. So that should be easy for them. France has fallen great power. Switzerland! What? Really? God damn it. So Switzerland's out of our sphere, unfortunately. But... I get a feeling France will bounce back and Switzerland will go back down. Probably. Oh man, they're not in our sphere anymore. All of their points are prestige. That's hilarious. Good job, Switzerland. Attend the 5th Olympics? Yeah. Poland is just slaughtering Russia. Now, this is really good for Scandinavia uh, because you can see Russia has... I don't know if you can see it. Russia has crisscrossed a lot of Scandinavia here. Uh, but since Poland's invading, this gives Scandinavia a second chance to come back and maybe, maybe win that war. Maybe. Um, 
yeah, Poland's doing well. Scandinavia, not so good. Go Poland. Look at them go. Wow. Not wasting any time. Although Britain has sent troops. Look at this. Britain actually landed some troops over here. Lol. You might want to deal with that, Poland. You know. Kick the invading Brits out. Gustav von Schmoller. Schmoller's opposition to neoclassical whatever. Something, something dark side. Oh yeah, influence, right. Um, no, influence looks good. Well, since we're good on influence, let me turn all that off. And let's go for another British colony. Or not colony. Let's go for another British province somewhere. Uh, New Zealand? Nope, because Britain's got 50 points there. Australia? Nope, Britain's got too many points there. Hmm. Where else does Britain have places that we could bother them with? Uh, Canada, maybe. Sure, let's go influence Canada. Lol. Relations go. Wow, Canada's number 13 in the world. Holy shit. Go Canada. They have a lot of industry. Nice. That would be an amazing coup if we could steal Canada. Go Poland. Oh. Siam accepted the peace from King Hai. I didn't see what it was. Whoa! Burma took... Chiang Mai. Oh, wow. Look at that. Poor Siam. War between Poland and Russia. Yep. Go Poland. I mean, from Poland's point of view, that's got to be a pretty scary war. But France and Britain are so weak right now that it's pretty much just him versus Russia. And Russia has lost a lot of units to Germany recently. Are these uh, peasants? Nope. That's the actual Russian army. That's probably the only army Russia has right now. Poland should take that seriously. And he should also kick the Brits out of Slovakia over here. But well, maybe he will, maybe he won't. Is there Lithuania in this game? Yes, there is. But it's very small. It's just one state. Finishing a lot more Dreadnoughts. Very good. Our navy is getting super scary. I love it. We're losing Dreadnoughts. Elections! All right. Nice. Let's see if we can get that uh, conservative faction we want. Or maybe the fascists would win. Either one works for me. Because they're both Jingo. I want Jingo, damn it. Oh, who's this? Canada. Yeah. No, we'll keep going neutral. Poland's doing well, but they have a long way to go. Okay, let's see. We want... This one, right? Partido Liberal Italiano, that's the one? Yes, Jingo. Partido Liberal Italiano. So, Partido Liberal Italiano, full citizenship, you got it. We'll try to get them in power. Doesn't mean they will come to power, but we'll try. Yep, Poland seems to be kicking Russia around pretty easily. Increased relations with Canada. Oh, wow, gotta be careful about our influence points. I mean, our diplomatic points, we don't have many. Adolf Wagner, permanent prestige, sounds good to me. Uh, Friedrich List, permanent prestige, sounds good to me. And Scandinavia will probably surrender soon. He's really losing hardcore. Uh, Poland is not giving Scandinavia enough breathing room. Oh well. Let's see, what do we want? Uh, protectionism, you got it. Alright, let's go for opinions now. Cordial. This should trigger Britain to respond, assuming he gives a crap. Travanicor, something, something, something. Yeah, Britain's already influencing him. Okay. Consciousness or consciousness? We'll take the local consciousness instead of nationwide. Yeah, Britain's responding massively. Protectionism. So we're just going to go to friendly and then stop influencing. Switch back to Australia, maybe. All right, come on, come on. We're almost there. Just get friendly and stop. There we go. Okay, stop. All right, where now? Let's see. Is anyone bothering us? Let's 
see. Cordial. Oh god. Um Yeah. Decrease Britain's opinion. And who else is there? Germany. Okay. We'll work on that then. Full speed ahead on Portugal. France fears our might. Gee, I wonder why France fears us. Could it be because we own three French states and we have given two French states to our vassal? Could that be why France fears us? You think? Maybe? God damn it, game. Oh man, Switzerland is bothering us. Stop bothering us, Switzerland. I don't want to I don't want to ban you from these guys. You're my buddy. Switzerland is going to remain a great power? Well, really? Yeah, they're 40 points ahead of the Netherlands. Wow. And Spain's not far behind either. Huh. Our children grow up so fast. Interventionism. You got it. Uh-oh. Britain's actually making an effort. That could be bad for Poland. Hmm. No, Poland's still winning. In fact, he's close to meeting his demands. It's just a matter of, uh, do they want to surrender? And I think that has a lot to do with whether he can beat, whether he can kick Britain out or not. If he can kick Britain out, the war is won. Otherwise, it could be a slog. How much infamy did you take for that anyway? Let's see. He's at eight. He took zero infamy for that war. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, we want Jingo. So, no, no pro military. I want Jingo. Jingo! Alright, let us kick uh, Germany down to cord, down to neutral. There you go. Sorry, Germany, nothing personal, but you're going neutral. Oh, yeah. And I think we're going to influence Ottomans just a bit. Because that'll lower Switzerland's influence there. It will actively lower it. Yep, it's going down. Great. Ooh, atheism? No, pluralism. Let's see, pluralism. There you go, pluralism. Oh my god, Spain has rebels. That should be fine, especially if Germany's down there helping out. Alright, this could be a key battle here. Poland better bring more troops. Nope, he's not bringing more troops. Oh, Poland. That really could have... Yeah, he just lost that battle. Nope, looks like Poland's going to lose this war. He just can't compete with Britain and Russia at the same time. That's too bad. Jingo! Nice. Jingo, Jingo, Jingo. Jingo, Dingo, Jingo. I made you out of play. Jingo, Jingo, Jingo. With Jingo, I will play. All right, the rebels have been defeated. And we're going to have to ban Switzerland. I hate to do this. Sorry, Switzerland. All right, full speed. Sorry, Switzerland. Nothing personal. Uh, pluralism. No, nope, not allowed. Okay. I wish I could help Poland here, but... All right, no, it's the same party in power. Damn it, we couldn't even change parties. Let's see. 10% of the people want secret ballots. You got it. You couldn't even change parties. We got the same fucking conservative party. Damn it. Oh well. Check for any factory upgrades? No? None? Alright, fair enough. Wow, 650 bucks from automobiles here. 600 bucks from uh, fancy clothes. 200 bucks from iron. 1.1k from fabric. Wow, some of these factories, man. Some of these factories are amazing. 450 bucks from electric gears. Oof, wow. I like it. I like it a lot. Damn it, Poland. Your timing. Not the best. Yeah, he's losing the war now because he lost some battles. Oh well. You tried, Poland. You tried. I mean, we're allies, but he can't call me in because we have a truce. Darn it. What the hell are these? Republican Guard. Ooh, wow. Oh, yeah. Collection points here. There we go. There we 
we go. Nice. William Cunningham, extra prestige, sounds good to me. Yep. Darn it, they're gonna lose those wars. It'd be cool if there was a crisis that would form. That'd be nice. But doesn't seem likely right now. Oh, damn it, Britain. If Britain didn't get involved, this would have been easy for Poland. Poland's troops are just stomping on Russia. But now that Britain's here, I mean they're just they're they're too big, too big of a distraction. Yeah, look at that. 100k guys just marching around. It's probably all peasants too, but. 100k peasants, that can be scary. Oh, we can hit a button. National Banking Act. Uh, okay. This gives us better loan interest and better tax efficiency. I don't even want that. I don't take loans anyway. Can I turn this off? No. No, I'm not going to do that. Don't want it. There's nothing I want. Ooh. Average consciousness of four, at least 30% socialist in the upper house. We don't have that, do we? No. We have 19% socialist. Darn it. Oh, well. All right, new tech. What do we want? Hmm. Let's go for our army tech. Get that artillery, because our, our economy is pretty good right now. Oh, Poland. Just peace out while you can, Poland. Peace out. Invade Scotland while Britain's busy? Well, we can't, because we have a truce. You know, truces, things like that. Crisis in Macedonia! Oh, Jesus. Wow. Alright, call me in, Ottomans. Germany declined to back Greece. USA declined to back Greece. Japan declined to back Greece. Switzerland declined to back Greece. No crisis. Damn it. God damn it, there's like no crisis anywhere. Hmm. Oh well. Dismantle constructions. Yeah. Scandinavia's gonna lose a lot of land in this war. That really sucks. I was kind of hoping they would do well, but... They should have joined the crisis war. Then they could have taken anything they wanted because we would have helped them, but we can't help them right now with a truce. And Poland as well. It's too bad. It's too bad uh, Poland was allied to Germany at the time of the Crisis War, the Great War. Uh, if they were allied to us, we could have called them in, but since they were allied to Germany, we couldn't call them in. And Poland's going to drop out of great power. Ooh, that's, that's rough. Who's coming in? Netherlands is going to jump up. All right. Poor Poland. Just white peace, Poland. You really should. Oh, what's this? Britain's bothering me in Spain? No, they're not. All right, well, who can we influence? Okay, France peaced out Scandinavia. All right. Uh, who can we influence? Let's influence France a little bit. And... Da, 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 turn those off. Let's go for... Let's see, New Zealand? No, because Britain's sitting there with 50 points. He's going to snipe anyone that tries to get in. Let's go for Australia. Why not? Discredited. Okay, let's go for Canada. Discredited, probably. Yep, okay. New Zealand. I mean, he's just going to discredit us on each one. That's fine. Actually, New Zealand, he may expel us, which would mean we'd lose our influence. Nope, discredited. All right. Well, hmm... All right, where else can we do? Persia might be fun. But he has a physical border with Persia, and we don't, so that would be tough. Looks like that's all he really has. Hmm. Colombia, let's try Colombia. I mean, Colombia is pretty useless. 28 in the world. Persia is probably way higher than Colombia. But whatever. It's a place to put our stuff. Our influence. I'm surprised the USA hasn't stolen Colombia and Canada from Britain yet, but... Ah, oh, Jesus, get out of there! 
Switzerland is being a total douche. He's trying to invade my spheres. Stop it, Switzerland. Stop it. Stop it. Damn, Switzerland. Quality assurance procedure. All right. Oh my god. Scandinavia is going to be like just a husk, a shell of its former self. Oh my god. Yep, there you go. So Scandinavia has lost Nord Nord to Russia, and he lost Togo to Britain, and he also lost uh, Secondi to Britain. All right. So Scandinavia is pretty much toast. They will never be a power in this game anymore. Goodbye, Scandinavia. You fought well, but you're an idiot because you didn't join the crisis. If you had just joined the crisis, Scandinavia, you could have taken anything you wanted. Such a dumb dumb. All right, Columbia time. Time to get friendly in Columbia. Yeah. All right, we're friendly. Uh, turn those off. All right, where do we have influence? Let's see, New Zealand. We're still discredited, right? Yeah, how long does that last? May, April, May. Oh, next month. Canada. May 13th. All right, well, let's go for it. We're going to Canada, baby. We can do it. And we have all of our military techs. We're at tech 20, whatever that is. A um, little bit of Navy. Why not? Why not? Consciousness or militancy? Go for militancy. Britain's just going to expel us or ban us. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, Britain. You dick. Bundelkund has collapsed. Does that mean you're no longer in the sphere? Uh, no, it doesn't. Darn it. Still a puppet. And we were discredited in Canada. Damn it. Fine. Go to Australia. It's tough to steal somebody from your, from this, from a sphere. We got Portugal. But that was tough to do. It took us years. Credit it again? Probably. Wow, Poland. Poland, you need to get out of the damn war. Poland, get out of your war. Just white peace, dude. Don't lose any land. Oh god, Poland. Ooh, naval statistics, nice. Next up is risk management. You got it. Discredited in Australia. All right, turn that off. Uh, back to New Zealand, I think. Yeah, New Zealand it is. All right, let's go. Wow, he's actually still focusing on Australia, even though we're focusing on New Zealand. I like that. Ah, oh, discredited. Fuck. <sighs> okay, Colombia it is. Not discredited there. Not yet. We will be. Oh, shit. Germany's back influencing again. Stop it. Bread riots. Whoa, barricades have been erected on Main Street, and bakery shop windows have been smashed following spontaneous outbursts of looting. Food shortages are becoming even more widespread in Italy. Pent-up anger is spilling into the streets. Really? Food shortages? Let's see. Gain liberals or gain militancy? I'll take the liberals. Whatever. 
Does that mean I can do uh, women's suffrage? Nope. We need consciousness of four. We're actually almost there. All right, well, as soon as we hit four consciousness, we can do it. Hmm. Still not discredited over here. Soon enough, though, soon enough. 30 points, you're there. Go ahead, discredit me. Go ahead, Britain, discredit me. Come on, Britain, discredit me. Discredit me. No, he's not doing it. Stubborn little Brit. Wow, he may be going for a ban. 65 points for a ban. I guess I guess that's what he's doing, huh? Darn it. Yep. Damn it, Britain. And for some reason, you can't change your influence while you're banned. You really should be able to still set what you want when it, come, when it becomes unbanned. Oh, well, looks like we're not going to be able to see the end of this war today. Um, but if I, if I were to guess, I would assume Russia would demand his cores back. Oh, he doesn't have cores here? Really? Russia lost his cores here. Oh. Well then, maybe Russia will add some war goals for cores? Yeah, he has room to take some more land. Maybe he will. Anyway, that'll have to wait till next time. Thanks for joining me. I've been Shen. You've been you. I'll see you next time for the conclusion of this war that Poland started against Russia. It could be very bad for Poland, but um, maybe not. Who knows? Anyways, I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Number one. Number one. We're number one.